dang it. Oh, Colette headshot, baby. Nice. They were both headshots. Do you have, do you have a, any grenades? Just chuck them down. Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be reviewing the M28 Con Tromboncino bolt action rifle for the Medic class. This just became available to unlock in the new Tides of War progression. You can unlock it through combined arms or just standard multiplayer gameplay. It's not too difficult to unlock the combined arms. Assignments are a bit tedious though. This is a very unique rifle in that one, it's for the Medic class and it's a bolt action, but also it has a built-in grenade launcher on the side which starts with two grenades and you can top it off with three total grenades that can damage infantry, they can damage vehicles, and they can blow up fortifications, giving the medic some interesting new tactics. One of the coolest things about the grenade launcher is that you actually turn the rifle on its side to fire and aim the grenade launcher. So it's pretty darn cool in my opinion, just a very awesome and unique weapon. But looks and aesthetics don't count for much if it's not a good or fun to use weapon and i'm happy to say that if you do like using bolt action weapons in battlefield 5 then this is an incredibly fun gun to play with it's highly highly aggressive and also has a one-shot headshot kill at a pretty decent distance and before we get into the nuances of the gameplay, there's some interesting things you might want to know when unlocking this weapon. The first thing is that it copies the weapon rank of the Commando Carbine. This is a bug. It might be fixed by the time you watch this video. I don't really know, but clearly DICE messed up something with the profile or the, the tagging for this weapon as it just copies over that rank. And so when I unlocked it, it was rank 10 from the very start. I never played with a rank zero or a rank four. It was just all the way up at 10 and I was able to upgrade its progression tree from the very first moment I started using it. There was initially a bug too, which prevented you from getting some of the mastery assignments, I think if it was already upgraded. Um, luckily that was not the case with me. So I think DICE at least fixed that part of the problem. Now, I haven't really experimented with the progression tree too much, but I really, really liked the side I picked, and I think it's probably going to be one of the better routes to go. I went full left side. This gives you faster ADS speed, faster reload, better hip fire. You, you have to hear me out on the hip fire approach a little bit later, and then also faster rate of fire. You can do some interesting things like giving improved damage to the grenade launcher on direct impact shots. You can give faster side strafing movement while ADSing and a few other things. But I think the left side tree really just fits in with the aggressive profile of this rifle. It can be hip fired very effectively in close quarter combat. And because it's got over a hundred round per minute rate of fire, when you do give it the uh, rate of fire boost and it's a two shot kill, you can down people very quickly with this weapon in close quarters. It's not gonna out shoot SMGs or anything like that but uh, do not underestimate its power. Not to mention if you can sneak a headshot in there, you get that instant one-shot kill. It has a six round clip loaded magazine with a pretty decent reload speed. If you were just body shotting the whole way through, you could essentially kill three players with a full mag if you didn't miss any shots in close medium range combat. And if you start pulling off some headshots, you can do some pretty impressive stuff with this gun. It is a high skill weapon. Make no mistake, you're not gonna pick up this gun and just have an easy time in close quarters clearing buildings and stuff like that. It's not really the greatest CQB weapon, but you can pull off some really fun gameplay with it. It's gonna be one of those guns that is very, very addicting to play with because when you do well with it, you can do really well and it looks very cool. At medium range though, this is where this weapon shines. Medium range, you still have a one shot headshot potential and it's basically one of the fastest firing, most aggressive one shot kill weapons uh, within that specific range. The Commando Carbine loses its one shot headshot kill range a bit earlier than this weapon. So the Commando starts to lose out. Also, the Commando has a very, very slow muzzle velocity. This weapon does have a slower muzzle velocity than most bolt action rifles, but it's not quite as slow as the Commando Carbine. So basically you can kind of place this weapon between the Commando Carbine and the Lee Enfield. The Lee Enfield being one of the most aggressive bolt action rifles for the recon class, uh, but it still has a pretty good long range potential. This is sort of the in-between weapon if you thought the Commando Carbine was just a little bit too limiting on range. This tromboncino comes in and just 
hits the sweet spot, in my opinion, for an aggressive bolt action rifle. Also playing the Medic with a bolt action rifle that can put up to a three times optic on it is a really interesting situation because you can quick peek, take some damage, heal up and peek back out again. This is something that the recon class can't do. And especially when you're in a sniper battle, uh, it can really give you a leg up since you can out heal your opponent. And just in general, having smokes and heals is a great way to run most classes. I mean, obviously it's great for the medic, but now that you can run the medic with this weapon, it's a, it's an interesting new play style that hasn't really been available in Battlefield before. Now, because it has the grenade launcher, you do have the ability to break down cover. You can splash damage enemies behind cover and you can do damage to vehicles with it. Uh, this makes it a very good weapon combination for vehicle oriented game modes. You've got the range now from a bolt action rifle and a scope. Uh, if you choose, the iron sights are actually pretty decent for this if you like to iron sight your way through the game. I'm more of a scope person, so I put the three times on here. You can go two times as well, I believe, and you have a few other interesting little optic options. But basically, this is like a great weapon for the long range medic class now on a vehicle heavy map. You can, you can actually do damage to vehicles if you want to uh, contribute. I won't say you'll be able to like take down a tiger tank on your own, but it's nice just being able to contribute if the rest of your team is actually fighting some armor, you can pile on the damage as well. Switching over to the grenade launcher does require a bit of an animation. So it's definitely a premeditated weapon. You can't just on impulse switch to the grenade launcher and take out the last guy that's pushing you. It's gonna take too long to use as a reactionary weapon, but switching from the grenade launcher back to the rifle is pretty darn quick. So if you are running around with the grenade launcher out and ready to shoot a vehicle, but you see infantry, switching back to the rifle is pretty quick and pretty easy to do. So that's a nice aspect of it. I'm sure it'd actually take really long to do this in real life. So it's nice that DICE gave us a very fast and efficient animation. Now, another interesting thing about this rifle that I was noticing is that because, well, it's not as aggressive as an SMG, you can't really uh, get in close quarters as confidently as you could with, say, a Tommy gun with a 60 round mag. Uh, you tend to play a little bit in the medium field, right? You, you don't necessarily always want to be on the front lines with this weapon. And that, in my opinion, is honestly the best place for a medic. Because if you're in the front lines going in first in front of the assault classes and you die, well, now you don't really have the ability to revive your teammates and play your class properly. Now that you're sort of using a weapon that's very, very good at medium range, well, if you play medium range mostly, then you'll see the guys pushing ahead of you and you can see them get downed, put some smoke on them and actually revive them. And that's personally the way I like to play the medic class best. Medics used to have the DMR style rifles in Battlefield 1. I personally enjoyed that balance the best for that class and was kind of upset when they went the SMG route with the medics for this game. So this sort of brings that balance, I wouldn't say back, but closer to where it was before. And if you preferred that play style with the medic, now you can kind of emulate it a bit better. This is very similar to the way a DMR would have performed in Battlefield 1 in terms of its rate of fire. It is very, very fast, and you don't have to scope out while rechambering around, which is nice. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say anything like the Tromboncino is the new best weapon for the medic class in the game. It absolutely is not, but it is an incredibly good medium to medium long range weapon, which is something the medic just hasn't really had before. Every SMG in the game is essentially intended for close quarters. Some of them can be pushed out to sort of medium-ish range, but they're not great at that range, and almost every other class has better weapons than them at the further ranges. Now the Tromboncino gives the Medic a very powerful weapon at those ranges, something that it didn't uh, have the ability to compete at before. So, again, if you pick this weapon on the right map, the right engagement spot for it, then it's going to perform incredibly well. But if you know you're gonna be in the front lines pushing very aggressively or in a very CQB tight knit map, this might not be the appropriate weapon to choose. Or if you just don't like bolt action rifles as your play style, then you're definitely not gonna enjoy this weapon. I've already seen a lot of controversial discussion about this weapon. Some people saying it's the worst gun in the game, it's terrible, and some people saying it's incredible. I love every element of it. I'm definitely in the camp of this is a very, very good gun 
in the right hands and the right situation. I like that it's in the game. I like that it's so unique. Has a good built-in grenade launcher. The first time we're ever seeing that in Battlefield 5. And um, I hope we can see more cool, innovative weapons like this from DICE. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.